over the past 30 years, fly rods have got stiffer and stiffer. And to load those stiff fly rods, you've needed heavier and thicker fly lines. So they land heavy and you get poor presentation. The Sunray Technique rod is 20% thinner, but it has a full action, meaning that you can fish thinner lines, lighter tippets. You can cut into a wind and you can present flies more delicately using lighter tippets. Normal rating, use a seven weight line on a seven weight rod, six weight line on a six weight rod and so on. Let's talk about the seven weights. Here I am on a big wide open reservoir. Wind coming into my face. I'm gonna use this 10 foot seven weight fighting butt on the end full wells handle, 20% thinner carbon. The rod is softer, but because it's thinner, it cuts through the wind, so you need less effort to cast. And when you hook a fish, the full rod bends, meaning that you protect your tippet, so you lose less fish. Perfect in this situation, casting long distance off the bank or the boat, and fishing either dries or nymphs or washing line or dial backs or fishing mid-range, fishing a fast sinker and going down deep. What you'll find with the technique range is you'll hurt less at the end of the day. This feels like a five weight in the hand. You could fish with it all day. Okay, so you've got a fighting butt on the end. You've got a double thread up blocking CNC aluminium reel seat carbon insert, full wells, quite a shape and sculpted handle so it feels nice in the hand. And then you've got this ultra slim blank. Let's have a look at the guides on this 10 foot seven weight. We've got three stripping guides here and they are Fuji Torzite. Torzite is the hardest insert you can get in a fly guide and the frames are made out of titanium. So they're ultra, ultra light and they stand off the blank in this angle. Basically, it all equates to less friction and less line sticking to the rod, which means you need less effort to cast. The blank is 20% thinner, but it's got this lovely black finish to it in an unground finish, meaning that it hasn't been sanded after it's come out of the oven. And that retains the action of the rod and usually find it on high-end premium rods. We've got this sports mode on the first setting, unique to all Sunray rods. It's got three settings, one, two, or three. You can offset the guides to that side or that side or have them in the middle. That reduces friction in the guides. When you're making a back cast, the line can often stick to the blank because gravity pulls it down and the wet rod and the wet line stick together. If you have the guides offset to one side, the line falls on this side of the blank. It doesn't touch it. So it reduces friction yet again. So you need lesser effort to cast. Nine foot eight weight, I'd fish that if the wind got up here or if I wanted to fish a big bum at distance. Don't be mistaken though, the nine foot eight weight is not a heavy rod. It doesn't feel like an eight weight, it feels like a six weight. Because of the thin blank, because of the titanium guides, this is modern, modern fly fishing. No more heavy lines, no more stiff rods. It rewards good technique and that's why we called it the technique. The nine foot five and the nine foot six inch six weight are perfect for situations like this. You can cast full floaters, obviously, sink tips, intermediates, three flies, two flies, washing line. You can straight nymph, you can fish buzzers, you can fish dries, you can fish lures, and you can pull in double figure fish. The five weight and six weight, they are the same as every other rod in the Technique range, that they bend a lot. They offer great accuracy when casting because they're 20% thinner carbon, but when you hug a fish, they bend. Oh, there he is. There he is. Really bend into that fish. You need a rod to bend. I mean, this feels like a two weight in the end. We can really bully those fish in if you want. If a rod bends, it means that you can fish lighter tippets, so you can present better, spook less fish, and land more fish. I would use the nine foot five weight strictly for nymphing and dry fly fishing, something like that, and small lures with longer leaders. And if I wanted to fish, say a small bung, or a team of three, or a sinking line, I'd go up to this, the nine foot six inch six weight. The nine foot five weight's got a through, sort of progressive action. The nine foot six inch six weight is a little stiffer, but not too stiff. I've made the six weight a little stiffer because it's sort of the middle ground between a light rod and a heavier rod. 
so it can fish a sinking line and punch into a wind, but it's still light enough to fish like a five weight or a four weight. So if I was going anywhere and had to make a decision, I could only choose one rod, it would be the nine foot six inch six weight because it can do a variety of things. It's our most versatile rod in the range. The six weight is the first in the technique range to feature a fighting butt. A fighting butt is not just for fighting fish. If you keep the fighting butt jammed into your forearm like that, when you make a back cast, it prevents a fault called breaking the wrist. If the rod butt drifts away and creates this angle, the rod tip drops behind you, catches the grass, no good. Having the rod butt and fighting butt jammed into your forearm when you make a back cast means that you get a very high tight loop, which creates lots of energy for your forward cast. As with all the nine foot range, we've got two Fuji Torzite stripper guides and then aluminium black snake guides all the way through, 20% thinner carbon. If I could choose one rod that I could only fish out the Technique range, it would be this, the nine foot six inch six weight. On days like this, I might not want to fish a six weight, or definitely not a seven weight. I might want to drop down. The nine foot five weight Technique is perfect for this scenario. <laughs> it's a nice, this is a better fish. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going, that's nice. This Technique, Nine foot five, well the whole technique range is based on having a really sort of through action, which means I can play these fish hard with light tippets. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Quite a dark fish. Dry flies, buzzers, spiders just underneath the surface. Extremely light in the hand, but a lot of power to that. I've, I've had fish up to double figure on it. No problem at all. So there's no problem with the strength. In this situation, I'd go for the nine foot four or even the nine foot five weight. The nine foot four and the nine foot five weight are extremely light. I mean, unbelievably light. You've got these uplocking CNC aluminium reel seats with carbon fiber inserts, these ultra slim cigar shaped half wells handles. And then you've got this 20% thinner carbon, which really just feels like a feather in your hand and then you've got the lightest guides that you can put on a fly rod they're fuji torzite titanium guides so titanium frames k series which means they're angled like that and they stand off the blank which means that the line stays away from the blank when you're casting which means you have less friction which means you need less effort to cast easy you've got two of those normally on a nine foot rod this size you get one but I've put two on them because, again, it reduces the friction even more. And then you've got these black hard chrome snakes completing the guides on the Technique. You've got these beautiful gold threads here, these gold whippings, and you've got a fly keeper, which I like. All the Technique rod range have this thing called air mesh rod sock. It's a spongier rod sock, which means it protects it more but it's got these tiny perforations in it all the way through, which means it lets air in. So when you put your wet rod into your rod tube, it doesn't get moldy. It's a small detail, but one you'll be thankful for. In short, in a situation like this, you're gonna spook less because you can fish lighter lines because you've got a softer rod, it loads more deeply. It lands more delicately. You can fish lighter tippets and you can present smaller flies with less drag. All those things mean you hook more. And then when you hook the fish, you're gonna land it because the rod bends and it plays the fish with more shock absorption. It's as simple as that. 